All right. Hey guys. Um, hope you had a great Easter break. Uh, five days off. I know probably a lot of you did work though. Um, probably a little bit different Easter than you're used to. Probably not being able to get out and do things and um, probably doesn't feel like even having a five day break when you're haven't been in school, but uh, it was kind of nice for me. Um, I was able to spend more time with my family other than just doing school stuff and wish the weather would be a little nicer, but, uh, just going to go over um, some of last week's work and then what to expect this week. Short video here. So I'm gonna share my screen with you guys. Um, last week's work was two different things. Actually, it was just one. It was causes of civil war. And the majority of you have turned it in. Um, I know there was some questions on finding things, like the election of 1860 was one of the questions. Guys, you have the internet. You can do research. Just because it's not on the PDF doesn't mean you can't look on the internet. Look in your book. It's not always just going to be there. You're going to have to get used to searching for things. Um, one thing I just want to cover, um, make sure you guys turn your stuff in. Even go back and turn stuff in that you haven't turned in yet. Make sure if you have it in, you click Mark is done. Because I know there's a lot of kids that are telling their parents that their homework's done and they have nothing done. Or if it's done, you haven't clicked mark is done and then it doesn't show up on any of our classes. So um, this week's uh, tomorrow morning, Tuesday morning, it'll be a pretty simple assignment. Um, just a quick um, read, a little rereading about four presidents and you just fill in this chart. These are four presidents that were in and before at the beginning of the Civil War. Um, they don't get a lot of credit because mainly Abraham Lincoln is the one that you think of when we talk about the Civil War. So it's just <clears throat> um, a simple reading through here. It looks like there's a, a website you can click on or where they got their information from. You just read through these and you'll be able to answer the questions. On Thursday morning, um, another thing, it's just like we've done in the past, it's all on Abraham Lincoln. Um, there's three, two different PDFs you'll be able to get your information from. And then something new here uh, is you just put your camera on. I know like I have an iPhone and I just turn my camera on and I hover over this barcode and it automatically on my phone takes me to the link or a video. Um, I know the Emancipation Proclamation is uh it's a informational piece but the other two if you scroll down the other two if you scroll down are um youtube videos so you use the pdfs and those three barcodes um as you can see i did attach the links because i know some people don't have access to a mobile device um so you can just click on the link too if that's easier for you i know for me it was nice that i was able to look at it on my phone and then be able to match the questions to it and then I took the PDF form from earlier and I just typed it out in this form so you guys can edit it and make it yours. So this is what you'll be turning in. Um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, other than that, I don't have much. We're not, we're getting kind of close towards the end of um, our 14 through 19 module. We will be, I think we have a, about two days worth of assignments left. And then I will have a smaller version of our test that we normally would have had in the classroom on um, quizzes. And you'll just take it on quizzes. You'll be able to use all of your stuff that you have, your any homework that you have saved, any um, your module book online, um, anything you have access to. I guess you could even search it up on the internet, I suppose. I can't be there to watch you take it. so. Um, it'll be pretty simple. Um, and then once we are done with that test, we will jump into North Dakota studies for the last part of the year. Cause I am, I think we all are expecting not to be back for the rest of the year, but who knows? So I hope all you guys are doing well. I hope all you guys are staying healthy. Um, it's like some of you have said, please, please reach out to me if you need help and, uh, take care.